Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, you're going to have to excuse me today. I'm just jumping on really quick uh, to get this video out to you guys. Uh, just a few small things to really get out. Um, but I, I am um, kind of doing something today. I've been kind of busy. It's actually, I've been part of this uh, challenge, this competition, uh, this running and workout competition for the last few months. And I've been like really competitive about it. So I've been kind of in, in the number one spot uh, for the majority of this channel or this, th this challenge. Um, but the, over the weekend, I had a lot of things going on and I kind of lost that number one spot. So uh, today is the last day of that cha challenge for me. And I'm spending most of today on the treadmill. So um, I've been running. You're going to have to excuse. I'm still in my workout stuff. I'm sweaty. I, you know, sorry, but I just wanted to come up, take a break really quick and, and kind of get this video out to you guys. Um, so there are some things in the charts. We're going to kind of look over just really quick into a few news things. And, and then I'm going to let you guys off for the day. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, let you off, you know, as, as if you guys don't choose to come help me out and watch my videos. But um, anyways, guys, let's get into it. Before we get over to that stuff, guys, as always, this month I am uh, kind of showcasing Rory Pond Rescue Ranch, trying to help these guys out, raise some money for their animals this month. Uh, so in the description, you'll have two links in the description to their homepage and to this page that I'm showing you guys right now. This is the shop to support our animals page for Rory Pond. Uh, you can donate to their, um, you know, send them something off that they need off of Amazon, off of their Amazon wish list here. Uh, you can buy some of their merch or you can just donate via PayPal or Venmo on this page. So get in the description, go over to those links and help these animals out, guys. Very much appreciated. Uh, okay, so let's get into just a few things. Um, as far as, I don't know what happened, but we're off that page. Oh, um, anyways, yeah, so the FedWatch tool is um, kind of showing we've kind, kind of came down from um, the last week, just a few, a few percentages, but we, we're kind of coming down off of um, uh, that, those higher percentages of getting that 25 basis point cut in December. So it is kind of equalizing out. It's, you know, it'll be interesting to see what this does. Uh, if it actually ends up being, uh, you know, fairly, you know, a, a coin flip on whether we get a rate cut or not this next month. Um, like I said, you know, we've had inflation come in in line with expectations, but with this market rally, you know, the Wall Street, um, the S&P, everything's been rallying after the election. And I'm not sure that uh, Powell really loves that. You know, it's it's uh, kind of goes against their their fight against inflation, really. Um, so it'll be interesting. And, you know, in Powell's speech, he came out, you know, pretty uh you know some would pay, say pretty hawkish say, you know meaning they're not going to cut rates this time but he basically said you know we're not in any hurry to cut rates um we're going to be very care careful and measured in doing so and so you know it it really is kind of you know up in the air where, whether we get these these rate cuts next month or not um so we'll just have to kind of watch watch that tool, watch uh, upcoming um, inflation measures, economic data and whatnot, jobs data, which should be coming out later this this month and whatnot. Um, we do have building permits coming out um, tomorrow, I believe. Uh, so all of these things, guys, will kind of go into um what the FOMC does December 18th whether they cut another 25 basis points or whether they they leave rates the same um but the the overall 
um, sentiment, guys, is that we are just kind of starting this global liquidity cycle and the, the liquidity is going to increase for the next while. So whether they leave rates the same or not, in, in the, the large scheme of things, I don't think is, is a huge factor, um, but it is pretty expected that, that this easing will continue into next year. So uh, something to watch, something to be aware of, guys. Um, but the, the, there was some other news today, guys, and I didn't bring up the articles, but MicroStrategy bought another uh, like $4.6 billion worth of, of Bitcoin, um, along with three other big companies, one being Marathon Digital, which it really has been kind of a weird one for me, uh, because when I first heard uh, several months ago when uh, when uh, Marathon Digital started buying Bitcoin, I was like, I had to read it a few times because Marathon Digital is a Bitcoin mining company. They literally basically make Bitcoin. They mine Bitcoin. Uh, so when they flipped to not selling Bitcoin, you know, not selling what they make, uh, but they're they're keeping all of that that they make and buying. They're basically implementing uh, micro micro strategies business model basically is they're raising capital and buying more Bitcoin than they're even mining. So that one's that one's a pretty big surprise. Honestly, a few months they started uh, go, they started doing this and they just bought some more um, over the weekend or whatever, uh, as well as a couple other uh, big companies. So big things going on there. Um, so other than that, guys, I, I do just want to kind of get into the charts really quick. Let's go over to the trade view here. So over the weekend, I actually did um, kind of zoom out and I've got this other line here. I'm actually going to change this to um, if I can figure out how. Anyways, it's it's this line that I, I kind of discovered over the, over the weekend that I really want to tell you about. But guys, we if if we do zoom out here, um, you know, you can kind of see we we have we had that massive rally up, which is is a flagpole, right? And now we're we're kind of trading down and and waving back and forth here, uh, which is a classic bull flag pattern. Um, so la yesterday I had kind of drawn these lines, um, this, this downward sloping one, uh, as the, the top of that pendant formation. And then this, this bottom one being the bottom one. And now you can see, um, just earlier, er really early in the morning today, we broke out to the upside of that. Um, which is is very bullish. However, uh, th throughout the day today, we've kind of just the last two hours, you can see we've come back down and broken back down into that flag pattern, um, which isn't a huge thing. Obviously, this is actually, you know, a pretty short time frame. This is on the hourly. So we could actually even just get rid of even this this upward, uh, this top. Um, flag line that I've drawn. Um, so actually let's, let's do that. Let's, let's just delete that. But then you've still got that upper, upper, uh, line that I was kind of talking about before. And you, you see that we still, we still have kind of this with that, that, uh, line, we still do have a, a kind of a bull flag playing out. Now we did break when we did set that all time high of 93,400 or whatever, we did break above that line, but this guys, this upper line is a line that goes clear back way, way back, um, clear back to 2020, 21, uh, the end of 2021. So let me jump out. I'm going to jump over to the, um, let's go to the, let's go to the weekly and 
So as you can see, this line goes clear back to the two tops, the double top that we had uh, last cycle, right? We came clear up here in March of 2021 and and hit about uh, 65,000, dropped about 50% um, on the news that that China was banning Bitcoin mining. Uh, saw a huge dip there, 50% dip, and then we climbed all the way back up for the rest of the cycle, ended up setting that all-time high at like 69 or 70,000, right? Um, but if you draw a line through those two tops, that's the line that we're struggling to break right now. Um, so let me let me just zoom back in and show you guys. Um, you know, on the weekly, we didn't even close above that. We, we came up, we wicked above that line and quickly got rejected. Um, but let's go clear back out to the, the hourly again. As you can see, like we just barely broke through that and, and rejected back down. And ever since we've just been kind of testing that level now, the good thing is, is this is again an upward sloping, um, up, upward sloping line, but it's over such a big time area that it's it's not really sloping too much in the, in the short term. But I don't expect that we'll be under this for too long. Actually, I hope, anyways. Um, you know, so far we've been, we've tested it here. We've kind of tested it here, came up here, tested it, tested it early this morning. And then let's zoom in even further. Like on the hourly guys, we, we barely wicked above it and just got rejected back down. And that's where we're kind of trading right now. I would kind of uh, suspect that we kind of hold this this trend line, this lower trend line, um, even if we come back down further this hour, um, I would I would expect that to be a support line. Um, but going into you know if if you do take these two lines and extend them all the way out to their finality, that will come to an end in about four days. So we could we now we could break up or down with this. Um, obviously nobody knows. I would, I would hope, and I would, I would say it's more likely that we, especially, you know, considering that this is a bull flag, um, which usually breaks to the upside. So, um, I would su suspect that we, we break out to the upside. Now, if we do break this, this long term trend line that goes all the way back to the last cycle's highs, man, where we could, in my opinion, e easily uh, hit $100,000 Bitcoin uh, this week, in my opinion. I, th I think that's completely feasible if this bull, bull flag breaks to the upside, um, which will have one way or another, we will break one way or the other in, in four days or so. But that, that line clearly is something we're, we're struggling with and has market structure. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting the next few days where we go from there. Now, guys, the, the next level after that, that you'd be looking at is that hundred thousand dollar level which is a psychological, you know, barrier, a six figure Bitcoin obviously is going to be a, a point of, uh, of resistance or consolidation or, um, you know, who knows, we could break through a hundred thousand dollars and then come back and test it as support. But I, I really do think that that's going to be an area, uh, to kind of expect something at so um anyways guys that's about it you know just watch that that trend line going clear back to 2021 um if we get above that it's not even setting a new all-time high at this point you know if we went straight up right now um to break that it would only be 
a $92,500 Bitcoin or whatever to break that. Um, now, closing, closing on the daily or even the weekly, you know, this, this coming Sunday, that's, that's what we're going to really have to look at is, is closing a daily and a weekly candle above this, this trend line, which later in the week is going to be, uh, that, that line will still only be about 92, seven or so, uh, and which I think we can totally, uh, close obviously above that. I think, you know, honestly, we break out of this, this bull flag. And I think, you know, that, that sends the momentum. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update. I did just find this, this trend line, uh, the last two or three days. So I did want to get in and kind of show you guys that, let you guys make your own opinions about that. But everything I'm seeing guys is, is, you know, this is a, a, a flag up, a flag pull up. Let me just get my, so we've got the, oh man, I am struggling with this today. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, you've got the, the flagpole here and we came up and now we've just been, we've been putting in that pendant flag, uh, formation right there. So usually breaks to the upside guys. So, you know, the, even though we've, we've really the last three or four days we've been consolidating. That is just guys, the, that, in my opinion, that's just the spring kind of recoiling and getting ready to spring for the next move. So anyways, guys, thank you uh, very much for, for tuning in. I am going to get back on the treadmill and do some more running. Uh, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up on the, the like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I will hopefully be back tomorrow with another video again. Um, and I, I actually don't know if I mentioned this, but um, I did have a comment on my last video uh, from Andy Louie 83. Uh, yeah, Andy Louie 83. Uh, he's a he's actually a good friend of mine, but um, just wanted to let you know, I will be answering that question. I just didn't want to get into it today because I didn't have a whole ton of time uh, to really get into that good question. And it is a good question. So anyways, guys, look forward to that in, in the next video or so. And as always, thank you to take for taking the time out of your day and I will see you in the, in the next video. Bye.